my country people my people things are really happening things are really happening in the uk with this old care job a news just came out this morning as you can tell i didn't even plan to film today look at the way i look but i said i must drop this year before the day ends I'm so sad this morning. This breaks my heart, like deeply broke my heart, guys. Why are humans like this? Why are people this way? In fact, this whole egg and care visa is becoming a scandal. Honestly, it's becoming a scandal. Now I know why people come here to YouTubers like myself who make this whole UK immigration content they come here to abuse us they come here to insult us because people our people come into this country and they misbehave now to africans nigerians to be precise i didn't want to call their names or where they are from because whenever i do this people will be like don't stigmatize Nigeria, don't stigmatize Nigeria. But what do you guys want me to do? It's not all about coming here, posting the good, saying, oh, four years working visa, come to the UK with your family, come to the UK as a care assistant, how to get a job as a care assistant. But even this bad, you all need to learn from this because this is so sad and this is so, this is so wicked. How can you abuse a vulnerable patient? How? The truth is that these people don't know what they are doing. That is the truth. They've been diagnosed legally with dementia. This is not even self-diagnosis. Legally, they've been diagnosed with dementia. They don't know. Honestly, they don't know what they are doing. I'm saying this from experience. Yet, you get this job to come into the UK to do this job, to look after these people only for you to insult, only for you to abuse them. Now I'm not even broken because of our Nigerian brothers that have given us bad name, but because of the fact this vulnerable patient has to go through this. It's hard. Imagine if this was your brother, your sister, Imagine if this was your father or your mother. Guys, I'm going to let you all watch this by yourself. So it won't look like Clara is the one coming here to speak off of views. No. No. I've grown past that. It's beyond that. Do you know the joy I get when I hear people say, oh, I've come into the UK. Through this care visa, Clara, you were one of the persons that helped me. It gives me a lot of joy. But now, it has become something else. It has become something else, guys. Let me allow you to watch this. Yeah, hello everyone, Dr. Lawrence, I'm more here. It is very obvious that the healthcare visa route is a very popular route for people a lot of people especially africans to be able to migrate to the developed countries the uk usa canada australia new zealand germany and all of these other countries but again especially in the uk it is a very very challenging job it is a very very challenging job so for you to be able to survive and to thrive in that particular care sector you need to be passionate about the job you need to have the passion to be able to work with the people, to be able to support the people. So sometimes there are a lot of people because it's a very popular route and people see it as an easier route to be able to travel to the UK and to the developed countries. People who are probably coming from the engineering sector, IT sector, banking sector, maybe the teaching sector and even the construction sector are using that care route to be able to migrate to the UK. Guys, if you are not passionate about the job, if you don't know a lot of things, what goes into becoming a carer to providing support for vulnerable people who actually need it, you could land yourself into trouble. Exactly like these two guys who have recently been prosecuted by the Crown Court in Birmingham and now they have been given prison sentences. 
Yeah, one of them has been given a prison sentence and one of them has been given a suspended sentence. So guys, it is very, very apparent. It is very, very important that before you decide to take any sponsorship work within the healthcare sector, make sure that you know the in and outs of the workings of the healthcare sector in the UK or the particular country that you are looking to visit so that you don't get yourself into trouble. Otherwise, by you trying to migrate using an easier route like the care visa route to be able to get to the UK or to get to any other developed country, the USA, Canada, Australia, and all these other countries, if you are not passionate about the people that you're going to be caring for, if you are not, you don't understand how the care industry works, yeah, you haven't got the experience, you haven't got the skills, you need to have that empathy to be able to work with them, to have the compassion, to have the zeal, you need to love what you do. Otherwise, sometimes some of the, uh, the, uh, the clients that you're going to be looking after, the people you're going to be caring for, they can be very, very challenging. Some of them have got mental health issues. A lot of them have got mobility issues, old age, dementia, schizophrenia, and all of that. Some of these various, various issues. Some of them are in palliative care, and you need to provide different levels of support. And you need to love what you are doing. Otherwise, if you do not have the compassion, you do not have the love of it, it could be landing you in prison. It could be landing you in jail. Just like these two guys. One of them has been given a 12-month jail sentence and the other has been given a suspended sentence and also some social hours that they need to work for. So guys, we need to be careful if we are looking to migrate with the healthcare visa route. And I hope share this video, like it, so people who are looking to come from other sectors, from the teaching, from IT, from construction, uh, from the banking sector, economic sector, and all of that, looking to migrate because they think that the care route is an easier route to migrate to the developed countries. You might want to think twice about this. Like, share, and follow this page if you want to know most of the information about travel, about visa route, about study, obviously, within the UK. Like my brother said, if you don't have the passion for care, you can't do it. If you don't have the passion to take care of someone selflessly, you can't do this. Because the care visa is beyond the money now. This is beyond the money. You have to have the passion to do this. If you were an employer, would you continue recruiting from Africa? People said, oh, it's like they're no longer recruiting. It's like the UK has stopped recruiting from Africa. If you were a UK employer, would you continue with all this news going up and down? Now it's not me carrying this news, but even the legal, authoritative, broadcasting news has carried it all over this morning, guys. I'm sad and I'm ashamed. I know sincerely there are people out there who really want this to better themselves. There are people out there who are really looking to come into the UK to better themselves. But now, I really don't know what's the way forward with the SNK visa. I don't know.